Welcome everybody to a very, very special workout with a very special person, someone who's been subscribed to the channel for a long time and through social media, through Snapchat, through Instagram, through messages, through Facebook, just through interacting and commenting and just getting to know each other, we have actually grown to become really good friends and who I'm talking about is Nicholas Berg or I think his YouTube is Nick Fit and his Instagram is The Aesthetic Natty. The other version of this video will be up on his channel and he really gets into the, each set and like the formulation of how we did this workout and you know why we did each thing and how it, it felt when he was contracting certain exercises with certain muscles and whatnot like that but this video is a little bit less structured because it is very hard to film in the gym and I was only able to pull out the camera and shoot just a few clips and stuff so this is gonna be pieced together just kind of random workout don't take it for you know being the full workout with each set and exercise record because that was not how it was but today we hit back by and try which is pretty much my favorite workout at the moment I get a really strong contraction really good pump and stuff so it was really cool that Nick's uh, routine kind of lined up with ours and because we, we just kind of adjusted to what he was doing because he's only down here for a little bit he's checking out a college nearby to see if he wants to go there next semester which would be cool because then he'd be here and he could work out with us and be in our videos um, yeah but we decided we'd go with whatever his routine was and it fell on to back day which is awesome now Nick is about I think two weeks out from a competition he's gonna be doing a men's physique competition so he's shredded and diced like I don't know if this this video is actually giving him enough credit because he is like so diced you can see his bones sticking through his skin he's looking good he's looking crispy I think you could run on stage right now and, and do well I don't I don't even think he needs the last two weeks but it's just gonna make him look even more conditioned which is awesome but it bring up this this idea this this uh, this thought and I've been kind of stewing on it for the last day, couple days and I posted about it on Instagram yesterday and this is the quote that I used it's easy for me not to fail, not because I'm better than anyone else, but because I'll not quit working no matter how hard the work to complete my goals. I'll literally bleed before I quit. Mindset. And it seems like a very simple quote, but the idea behind it is so very strong. If, if you've in your head, if you like at the truest part of your being have committed to something and not just said it to people, not just like committed to it because people are contractually committing you. If you've like committed yourself to something, it's already over. Like for me, I wanted to get to 200 pounds lean. So I did it and it, it wasn't easy. It wasn't like it came in a couple of months or something. It took so long and I was so dissatisfied with my progress because I had such huge ambitions and goals. It took so long to get there, but it didn't matter how long it was gonna take to get there because I was already committed to being there. So I was already there. And this idea transcends any sort of genetic predisposition or any sort of advantage that anyone else has on another person because you'll see other people working just as hard as you or you'll be working harder than those people and they'll be progressing and they'll be getting more gains, more progress than you in whatever facet of life you're comparing it to. But you have to remember that everyone grows at their own rate and the amount of growth you're able to achieve over time is only limited by the mindset that you have behind the work that you're putting in so if you want to be 200 pounds and it's gonna take you eight years and it's gonna take your friend two years it doesn't matter because you're both gonna be 200 pounds and that occurred because you had set your mind to it and forgot about external forces like your friends beating you or whatever your mind calls it so what I want you to do is I want you to really analyze what your motivation is right now. I really want to analyze where your level of motivation is and what you want to do and how committed you are. And by analyzing it, I think you can realize what level you're committed and you can even up your level of commitment. Because I think everybody has room to improve and I think everyone has, you know, more they can put into it no matter what level you're at. Now this topic was definitely partly inspired by Nicholas because he's got such a strong and disciplined mind when it comes to achieving his goals in his physique like seriously I have no doubt this is probably the one person out of anyone that I know that I doubt the least will mess up or cheat or screw up on their diet or anything like that like he is to the point to the ounce sending me like food prep pictures and videos on snapchat and stuff like that and that just shows the level of commitment you can tell when you talk to him about it that he wants to do well in physique either in the competition itself or in improving himself but either way you can tell that whatever he wants to do he is committed to it when I started working out when I started my YouTube when I started going for my personal certification when I went to college all these things I had ambitions and I had goals and I reached each one of those that I've been able to at this point I still 
and the ones that I haven't achieved yet, I'm still actively working towards. So I have never let any sort of real commitment that I've really deep down told myself I was going to get, I've never let it pass me by. I've always stuck to it. And I feel like once you get this kind of a mindset, it goes into every facet of your life and you can really, you really feel empowered with your decisions because you know that once you decide you're going to do something, once you put your mind to it, it is going to be a done. It's just a matter of how much time it's going to take. There we go, guys. There is my philosophy for the day. I hope you enjoyed this bit of a ramble. And if you have not checked out Nick's channel, please, I'm begging you, I'm imploring you. He's a very good friend of mine. We'll be in videos in the future. Please aware yourself of who he is. And if you like his content, subscribe to him. His link will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching this video. I love each and every one of you and all the support you give me. Team Beyond the Week. Big J. Live to your die, Myron! <laughs>